All right, so let's take a look at the 23rd of March to start with gold. Now with gold, I've, as you can see, I've adjusted the levels there. Yesterday, this level was still on. Yesterday, it was slightly higher, so I brought it a little bit down. This hit our technical level here, although it was not at the right astrological hour. So this was a right astrological hour here. This was a right one. This was a right one here turning. Unfortunately, this wasn't because the turn happened around here at our astrological hour. So, however, this matched our technical analysis. And if you're using the ATAM strategy, it would have matched your PST level on the daily. And you should have been okay with this one, too, if you wanted to enter it. Okay. Um, if you didn't, because you were also, you know, using astrology at the same time, that's fine. You, know, you can't win them all. The important thing is to match astrology with technical analysis, but this was straightforward trade yesterday, down, up, down, and here you should have at least taken some profit and managed to trade. Okay, so with gold, we still got this dilemma here. We can still pop our heads down here, retest this level, and that should be fine. I don't think that's the problem to do so. The market can come down to these levels, 1897 and so forth. I have marked them down. If they do at our astrological hours, we are buyers in gold, as you know. All right, so um, all of these levels, why don't you just jot them down as well? 1897, 65, 1851, these are updated according to today's um, PST levels on the daily. The weekly, you don't need to really update because that's going to be fixed until next week, and that's 51 level, that's 1865. So you should put 1865 at the beginning of the week and just leave it there for the whole week. The same thing for the monthly. If you're putting something for the monthly on the PST, you know, you just leave it there for the whole month to see how it goes. Only monthly you're going to be updating that one. So let's take a look at what's going on with Euro Dollar. All right, so with gold, straightforward. Come back into our astrological hours by go up into astrological hours, sell. Do your selling with a smaller lot size because the overall long-term trend is going upwards. All right, so that's that. Um, let's take a look at Euro Dollar. Now, Euro Dollar, it made that target yesterday. On the PST, we still got a bit more room, but remember, look, the reason we've got 40, 60, look, 20, 40, 60 80 right so the reason we have these levels is simply because these are sensitive levels right so with the euro dollar and all the currency pairs things are just a little tricky all right with currencies but if you use the right levels with the right astrological hours you should be okay now this being a target yesterday 1.0966 plus this was an astrological hour if you traded yesterday um 1025 i think it was um, and that made a nice little U-turn all the way back up here. And if you're in the elite section, I did say the 22nd would be a swing day for Euro Dollar. And the Euro Dollar actually only had one swing day this week uh, that I noted, and that was the 22nd. All right. Um, however, if it does pop its head back down, we're okay to buy it, I reckon. Um, and, you know, it could also start moving up from here. This is a nice break of structure here as well. Okay, so nice break of structure, good buy kiss. If it keep this line drawn, all right, if you've taken technical analysis from me, you know what a good buy kiss is, right? So keep it there. If it does pull back down along this line here, and then we can also go back up again. Okay. Um, don't muck around in between levels, please, because you will get hammered. I also put this white line here, but you can't see it, it's 1026, and not 1026, 1076, sorry. Just let me just do this. Just mark this level, because that's the weekly <clears throat> on your PST. All right, 3916, 3916, 1078. So be mindful, 1078 up there, it's gonna be a resistance level there as well. All right, we need to break out if we want to go up any higher. If it breaks above this level, pullbacks, you're good to go long. All right, so any serious break above the weekly and then coming back to the weekly, I reckon is good to go long, especially on an astro hour as well. Okay, 
Let's take a look at US 30. Now with the US 30, as you can see, market pushed up yesterday into our astrological hours actually and stuck around there. We're still pushing up. Now, on the daily, this is all, you know, pretty much resistance zone, as you can see, right? There's a demand supply zone here. But this is also a nice impulse wave. As you can see, it's right up there at the resistance zone there. So it's pretty, you know, pretty nice of it to try and then pull down however though <clears throat> remember in april we've got some nice aspects <clears throat> and the market could pretty much go all the way to those aspects right so that's pretty cool uh, and we see that it's going up nice and strongly so preparing for those is also a good option so we'll see how those happen when we get to april all right so <clears throat> what to do with this one at the moment don't do anything because if you want to buy it you need you need to wait for it to come back <clears throat> today what we can do is just say well this is not a bad spot to buy if it comes down to these levels and also obviously this weekly pivot zone is going to be for us interesting that's for sure and this whole level here is also interesting. Now, there are a lot of levels sometimes, but the difference between us and other people who do technical analysis and put a lot of levels is we know if it's going to turn during those hours or not. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't match our hours, we don't do anything. So having a bunch of hours and in fact having a big gap like this, for us, it doesn't matter. We've got the important levels in there from our PST indicator. So as long as the market gets to wherever we want and it matches an astrological hour, we can trade and there's most often than not enough move up there to take more than one to two, one to three risk return radio ratio and more than enough definitely to cover your trade. Okay. So not to panic. All right. But at the top, see, I wouldn't do much. Let's just sit and wait. If it goes up into this zone here, we'll see if it's our astrological hour or not. And then we can expect a turn and then we can, you know, we can look for a sell position if it's there. But I don't think that, and I don't know if it's going to get up there yet. So it hasn't yet. All right. As you can see, I can make this a little bit. There you go. That should be there, actually. Yeah, that should be there. All right, so it could possibly come back a little bit more there and then sell off, come back to a good buy kiss and then move forward. So we'll have to sit and wait until we get into this zone. Don't do anything. Um, let's see what that zone is. Oh, come on. 34978, 34978.56, 356986, 35698, 35698. Let's just put this up there. 35, 6, 9, 8. That's a bit too high. That's on the weekly. On the daily, what have we got here? 65, 68, 34, 900. Why don't I just do this? 34, 900, 35. So that's not bad. 34, 900, 35. 34, 900 is pretty much there. All right, so that's pretty much done then. 34, 900. Hmm. All right, so that is already a resistance there. That's a good bike. It's there, 35. So what to do is this. Is this an astrological hour? Well, I haven't posted it yet. All right, so this is going to be your kill zone. If you want to sell, this is your zone. And I did mention for the elites, look out for your swing days. All right, look out for the swing days because... Um, it'll begin to make sense if you think of it from a swing day perspective.